Fin by Chase is a new online bank that just came out and it's made by Chase, right? Now, is it a scam or is it not a scam, okay? Do I recommend it or do I not recommend it? Like in all of my videos, I'm gonna call customer service and ask them a whole bunch of questions, very detailed questions to get all the information out of them just so you guys can hear the information straight from the horse's mouth and don't really need to trust me on it, okay? Now, here's something I do wanna say, guys. Not too long ago, when I made one of these videos, I did tell you guys that big banks were gonna start coming out with some competitive products to compete with very compete with Chim, compete with SoFi, compete with all these new online services that are going on right now, right? Okay, all right, for example, no fees. Um, we help you with your spending, we manage things, we have a high APR savings accounts. Now Chase is kind of getting into the game, except that they're not really getting into the game, and I'll tell you exactly why later in the video. Now, I do wanna say something, right? What Chase is doing now is basically rebranding itself in a way that they can still make money from the fees and still make money from the people that don't want the fees, okay? What this means is that, for example, people that have the regular bank with Chase, right? Because I have the Chase app on my phone and I use it every single day. By the way, I'm not the only one. There's 25 million active users that are using the Chase app every single day. Now, I can vouch for this, right? I can vouch and I can actually predict that the people that actually use it are between the ages of 20, maybe 18, all the way to maybe like 30, 35, maybe 40 max, right? Because most people that get beyond that age, usually the, what they're doing is just going to like the branches, you know, and well, not 40, okay? 40 is way too young, maybe like 55. Like usually those people are just going to the branches, they use the ATMs, they talk to real people, they talk to the tellers, take their money out like that, and here's the deal, right? Those people get overdraft fees all the time, they get maintenance fees every single month, and they have a whole bunch of fees that they're used to already because they're already accustomed to it. But us, we know that there are better products out there that don't require that. So rather than create this entire app within the Chase app and just improve the entire business, what they did is, well, they said, well, let's keep the money with these customers, let's keep charging the fees, but let's just create something that's a little bit more different so we can actually take advantage of the new market that's actually rising. That's what they did, okay? They split together to earn the money and get the new customer base, and I wouldn't be surprised if like maybe like one to three years on the line, they combined the whole thing together because no one is using that old system of banking anymore. So now, guys, let's call customer service right now and let's actually talk about Finn, okay? And let's actually ask them every single question that you're probably wondering right now. now Something I did like about the website was that I didn't have to like do some really like crazy digging to find the phone number. It was right there on the first page. And I really appreciate that because sometimes companies, they hide the phone number so you can just be like, all right, just email us or text us and then we'll respond or that's it. But we don't wanna talk to you. So let's call them right now. Phone number is 1-800-636-9415. Thanks for calling Ben. One moment while we connect you to someone who can help. Hi, hello. Look Finn, this is Nina. May I ask for your name, please? Hi, my name is um, Tommy Bryson. What's your name? Hey, Tommy, this is Nina. Nina? Tommy, help me. Okay, Hi, nice to meet you, Nina. I'm, I'm just calling in because I'm a Chase customer, but I want to get some information on the Fin app and to see how it actually works to see if I actually want to sign up for it. Do you mind if I like, stay on the line with you, ask you some questions real quick so I can kind of like um, kind of like check it out a little bit? I'll be happy to do my best to answer those questions for me. Okay, awesome. What are your um, so basically, I have a list of questions I just want to go over with you. So the first one is, um, how does the Fin app actually work? Like, what are the benefits? Like, what makes it different, and all that stuff. Fin application works as you, there is an auto save that you can set up, wherein if you will be setting up a rule, like if you have, if you made a purchase that is more than two cents over than an an exact amount. That the remaining amount to round it off the nearest peso or I mean dollar will be uh, transferred over to your savings account. Okay. That is the other. That's the rule saying. I think it's named as pocket your pennies. Okay. And there is there is also a work harder, save harder. Okay. Auto auto save rule in there, wherein you receive a direct deposit into the checking a portion of it. It depends on how you will set it up. Will be transferred automatically to your savings account. Okay. In that way, there is a, since there's an automatic transfer, you're you're not noticing that there's already money that you're saving. Okay. And once yeah. you open the fin account, it's automatically fin checking and savings account. Oh, nice. And that account, that app. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, nice, nice. Thank you. That application can only be accessed if you have that combination of savings and checking account. Okay. I, I, I don't know if you've heard of savings account being converted to the checking because of excessive withdrawals. Yeah. If that happens, then the FIN application is no longer accessible. 
Oh, wow. Because there are no more there okay. are no more savings account. But you can still access the account through the Chase Mobile application. Okay. So One big difference between the regular checking and savings account versus the FIN checking and savings account, Yeah. it doesn't have monthly service fee, okay. no maintaining balance, and if indeed the account has been overdrawn, we do not charge insufficient funds fee. Okay. And do you guys like to, when you open up an account, do you guys do like a, like a soft credit check or something like that? We do a soft pull. Okay. Um, usually like on a, on a check-ins account, like I, I've never really heard about that. Like you, are you guys planning to do like maybe like credit cards in the future or like, um, or loans or any kind? We have been provided that option, that offer, but we are developers are still thinking or reviewing the possibility of it. And right okay. now we are still working on the savings and checking account since this is fairly new. It's almost three years. Okay. So, okay. So it sounds like it's like you guys are preparing for it, but you guys are just focusing on what you guys are very good at right now. There's already suggestions for the for the credit card account, FIN mm -hmm. credit card account. Yeah. But we don't have any updates yet. Okay. By the way, um, do I get like a like an account number and also like a router number with the with the FIN account? Definitely, mm -hmm. and you will see it through the app. Okay. The moment awesome. you completed the application. And you already can access your account into the FIN application. You can go to the profile and tap on the checking or the savings, depending on which account you'd like to see the account. The okay. complete account number, you will see the complete account number and the routing number. Routing number typically depends on the location that you are at, the address that you have on file yeah. when you open the account. Okay, awesome. And what about the ATMs? Like, how, how do the ATMs work? Are the ATMs free? And, like, how many ATMs do you guys have available compared to Chase? We are under Chase's umbrella. So, if you will be making what uh, the number of Chase ATMs is what you can use for the FIN. Yeah, because I, I, I read, and like, Chase only has, like, 19,000 ATMs, but you guys, you guys have, like, 29,000. That's because we do have ATM partners. That's the best part of it. If there are some locations that doesn't have Chase branches, Chase mm -hmm. ATM, we do have Chase ATM um Partners. ATM partners. That's what they call okay. it. Okay. Are you guys partner? Are you guys partner with like um, with the with the all point ATMs? Um, the thing is, we do not have the list of it. But if you okay. will go to the FIN application on the upper left corner, there is a finder icon wherein you will just just put in the name or the zip code you're at, and you will be provided the information for what is the ATM okay. partners that we okay. have. Um, for ATM partners, there are no fees if you will be making an ATM withdrawal with them. However. In the event that you will be making an ATM withdrawal in a non-partner machine or non-chase machine, yeah, then you will be charged. And do you guys like do you guys withdrawal. like refund like the charge like because I because I read about like for example like SoFi and there's a whole bunch of new apps that are coming out now like they have like free and I think it's aspirational also like they have free ATMs worldwide so anytime you get charged at any ATM like they just like um like put back the um whatever you got charged like at the end of the month like do you guys do that or is it like you got charged like that's about it no we do not refund fees if in case you will be making a non chase ATM withdrawal or non partner okay chase, um non partner ATM withdrawal okay and by the way are there any like cash back features like to the car like if I spend at a specific location do I get like cash back or something like that as long as the merchant allows cash back yes the card can be used for that. Wait, what, what do you mean by that? You mean cashback, right? If yeah, I mean, does the, 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 yeah, the FIN app itself, does it has like a cashback policy? Like, for example, if I go to like McDonald's and I spend like um $10, do I get cashback from FIN? Or is it like specific retailers you guys are partnered also with that um give me cashback? Oh, like the offers. Yeah, exactly. That's if what I'm saying. that's what you mean. Yeah. Or rewards. It yeah. It depends on what we are partner on a certain month. Okay, so you guys do have something like that. And um, Nina, what about um um cash deposits? Do you guys do cash deposits because that's like a huge thing. Definitely, you can do cash deposit at Chase ATM. Oh, so for example, if I go at to the any moment, Chase, only Chase ATM. okay, so okay, that's that's pretty cool. If I go to any Chase ATM and I want to deposit cash into my Fin account, I just put in my Fin um debit card and I just can like just deposit cash, right? Because a lot of these online banks like they don't accept any cash deposits, and the only way to actually get money to your account is by having an external bank and actually transferring money like that. But with this one, you're saying I can do cash deposits. That's the advantage that we have, yes. Since we are under Chase's umbrella, you can use Chase ATMs to make cash deposits. Oh, wow, that's awesome. And, and Nina, what about um, what about savings interest? Because because we keep talking about how you guys are gonna how you, how you how how the app like um helps helps people save and stuff like that. But is there any like interest rate attached to it? Because I was doing some research and I and I and I saw like some interest rates that are that are out there and very competitive. So I just want to know like 
What are your rates? It's variable. It depends on the money that you have into your account. But let me just double check on what will be the percentage for that, okay? Okay, okay. Second. First thing is, she sounds like a little shaky and she doesn't know all her information and she won't really let me talk. But I think she's a little nervous because she never really got that many questions, so that's fine. And she's doing her job up to now, so I'm not the happiest with this customer service, but so far, so good. And also, guys, the ATMs, they should all be free, like worldwide, like so okay, far. Fun reviewing, saving. Savings is the one that will only earn interest, and earns interest, just like what I mentioned, variable, based on the daily collected balance. Okay. So what, you will just be provided with the, uh, sorry, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, what's the APY on the account, like the yearly um interest that the, the account like um gets? Since it's variable, we do not have the exact amount. It really depends on once you have the account, it will show as in there once we go in on what interest was given to you. Well, what, well, what, what, what's the variable um rates that you guys do off? Like, for example, is it like like under five thousand, under ten thousand, under a hundred thousand? Is that how you guys like um like decide? That is correct. You will um we will, our system is automatic. It's computer generated on how it is being computed. Okay. So but, what's the standard uh, rate to someone that's just starting out? Let me double check. And and then also, what's the highest rate that you guys do have? Okay, first things first. Vero is 2.10%. And if you do the entire like direct deposit, it's 2.80. Um, Goldman Sachs by Marcus or Marcus, Marcus by Goldman Sachs is 2.25%. BVAA is 2.40%. Discover is 2.10%. I know this answer and it's um 0.01% that they're giving people. And that's terrible and that sucks. So you're helping me save money. Sorry, I'm still so waiting okay that's fine no worries okay. so you're asking me to save money you're helping me save money but in reality you're just keeping my money using it for whatever investments you do want to use it for making a ton of money from my money but you're not even willing to give me like even one percent because it's point zero one percent guys point zero one percent that's what i saw now it might be one percent like like um yeah I'm, I'm located in new york so yeah like the interest rate sucks, okay? And I'm gonna get that same thing from her. Well, let's confirm, right? Let's see if she's actually, if she knows what she's talking about or she doesn't know what she's talking about. Because guys, I love Chase, but I have like this love and hate relationship with them because they're great for a lot of things, but they're not so great for a lot of things also. And I don't like that. I think they need to improve a little bit. And I think that in reality, I, well, I'll tell you at the end of the video, okay? Let's just stick to the, the phone call for right now. Balance zero to $9,999. Interest rate is 0.01%. APY is 0.01%. Okay. For 10000 to 24999 interest rate is 0.03%. APY is 0.03%. For more than $25,000, interest rate is 0.04%. Annual percentage yield, 0.04%. Okay. So what it sounds like, you range from um like 0.01% to 0.04%, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, because that's... Cause like what I've noticed is like a lot of these like new companies like they're coming out with like um 2.80 percent and like I think I think Discover offers like 2.10 percent so I'm just uh, I'm just like seeing just like like weigh in like how competitive you guys are like do you guys like I know you guys like are a new company and stuff like that do you guys think like in the future you might like improve those rates because like right now it's like I think like um 15 times lower than the than the competitive rates that are out there. There's a possibility, yes. Yeah, so However, we cannot guarantee anything since this is a non um charging account. Yeah. It's basically a free account. Yeah, I understand. And um, for example, um, I also read online that you guys um help the purse help like people that have the accounts like get paid faster because I saw like there's this app. It's called like Chim, and then when you register for it and you set up direct deposit, you get like um paid two days early. Is that how you guys work also? No, we do not work as such because we need to have the collected balance since this is a non um charging account. We need to wait for the money to be collected completely. In that way, we are assured that the money will there are, there will be no stop payment on any certain transaction okay. or any deposit that will be going into the customer's account. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because I did notice that you guys don't have um. There's no fees associated with the account, right? Like there's no um, there's no like maintenance fee and there's no um. What is it called? When you use the money but you don't have the money and you guys charge a fee for that. Insufficient funds fee. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have that. Yeah, because if you just try to do that, then you just got you just got like rejected, right? That is correct. For ACH transaction, yes. However, for debit card transaction, we I don't know if you noticed for if you have other account, if you run your card as a credit, you swipe your card to complete a transaction, or you yeah. make a purchase online. Yeah. 
it takes time for the merchant to take their money out completely. We just approve the transaction, but it's up to them on when they will take it out. Okay. In the event that at the time that they decide, they decide to take the money out and you no longer have enough funds for it, we will still cover it for you. You'll just need to cover the money that will make the account overdrawn at that time. And, and there's no fees, right? That's correct. Okay, awesome. And how do you guys work with like um with Chase for example? Like how does how does the partnership work? Like like is it just like for the deposits and and for like to use the ATMs or are you guys doing like other stuff with them? Like are there, are there any more benefits? You can, also, you, can you can do if you can do quick pay. Oh, quick from pay. one Chase customer going to your account. Chase uses from your account going Chase, to Chase Chase customer. uses Zelle. It's a same day transfer for the quick pay. Okay, awesome. Okay, and awesome. Also, if you have a Chase account, you can do funds transfer between your FIN account and your regular Chase account. It's okay. also immediate funds availability. Yeah, okay. How does how does that work? Like how can I send my um like my friends money and stuff like that? If you will be signing up for quick pay, it is tied up with Zelle payment. Okay, Chase is a quick pay by Zelle. You can do that with anyone. You can then start sending out quick pay. Okay, that's awesome. It just happened awesome. that both parties need to be involved with self payment. So okay. if your friend of the bank with Chase, they need to sign up for the quick pay. Or if they're banking with another financial institution like Wells Fargo, they also need to be involved with the self payment that's um, available on their end on okay. that bank. Okay, I understand. Oh yeah, so that so that means you can just like you you can send money to other people that do have like the Zelle app, right? And they don't really have to be um like with the Chase account basically. That's correct. Okay, awesome. And by the way, um, I noticed that you guys like like help people like with their spending habits and stuff like that. Like how like what features does the app have that helps people like like manage their like spending and stuff like that? That's our auto save. Our system will determine on what you do with your checking account activities, mm -hmm. and the system will see if will you you will be provided with the suggestion that say for example. There's a certain transaction that you're always doing. Mm -hmm. That if you do this, there's an automatic transfer to go into your savings account. That will only happen if you approve the transaction. The minimum is fifty dollars, I think. Yeah. However, in the event that the you set up a threshold amount, say for example, the threshold amount that you set up is one hundred dollars. In the event that the auto save will make your balance below one hundred dollars, or if your balance is already below one hundred dollars, automatically okay. the auto save rule will stop. Okay. It uh, will only resume. It will pause. It will only resume the moment you already have more than the threshold amount. Okay. Awesome. And but how does like the because like because like I saw that you guys like do like um budgeting inside the app. Like how does that work? Like specifically. I'm sorry. Like, do you guys have, like, a budgeting, like, system inside the app that tells you, like, hey, you're spending money here, you're spending money there, you're saving this amount? Like, do you guys have, like, a budgeting system within the app? Um, we do have the trends. You can check it into the, it's on the app. Okay. And how does that work? The trends, it will only determine on what the transaction you normally do. Mm -hmm. And the trends, you can, you can, you can put an icon in it if it's a neutral, sad, or happy. And that will also work into the auto save. Okay. If in case you will set up an auto save that it will you will do a, there will be an automatic transfer of a certain amount if in case the transaction make you happy sad or just neutral. Yeah. Okay. And do you guys like do you guys allow people to like take pictures of checks and then like have those checks deposit and like how long will it take if you guys do allow that? Checks can be deposited into the account, but this account doesn't have a check writing capability. As for the check um, clearing. On the first check deposit that you will be doing, typically it will take up to five to seven business days for the funds okay. clearing. Yeah, but can or I? But Nina, can I take can I take, can I take pictures? Can I take pictures of checks and like kind of like um deposit it like that, like um without having to go to the place? Yes, you can. Okay, it's awesome. available into the same application, okay. provided that it will not be beyond the limit. Since it's it will be done only through the application, we set up limits for that. The standard limit is two thousand dollars in a day, but you cannot exceed five thousand in thirty day limit yeah. rolling calendar day. Yeah. So this it will there are no option to increase nor decrease that limit. Yeah. Our system will just determine if you have a good standing and you always use that service, it will be by then that the automatic application of the limit increase will be applied into your account. Okay. As for the funds availability, five to seven business day on the first deposit of a check so we can determine the validity of it okay. and of course that will set up the record 
or that will serve as our basis for all future deposits that you will be doing. Okay. So all future deposits that you will be doing using the same method, it can be a faster depending on the first one that you will be doing. Okay, I understand. And talking about limits and stuff like that, like are there any like spending limits? Or like the or, or like, yeah, like spending limits for example, or withdrawal limits, like how much money can I spend on a daily basis? Are there any limits with that? Like for example, if I have a hundred thousand dollars in my account, like can I spend all of it in one day? And for example, if I wanna um like remove like a hundred thousand dollars, like a withdrawal, like can I remove it like that same day also? Are there any limits attached to the account? Inside the branch, there are no limits. However, if you plan to use your card to make a purchase, the typical limit of the debit card is three thousand dollars in a day for purchases. Three thousand dollars. And then. Five hundred dollars for non Chase ATM withdrawal, okay. one thousand dollars for Chase withdrawals, and three thousand dollars for in branch ATM withdrawal. Okay. By the way, can I use the can I use the teller at a Chase to withdraw more money? Definitely, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. Awesome. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty good. And by the way, is the money like um FDIC uh, um insured? Definitely. Okay, that's awesome. Like Nina, thank you so much. Like, I I feel like you like helped me um understand a little bit more about the app, and I'm gonna like definitely consider it and stuff like that. So thank you for your time. If there's any other questions, just give us a call back. Have a okay, day. thank you, Nina. Have a good day. Thank you for calling, Finn. We appreciate you. Have a great weekend. Take right. care. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, the only thing that's good about this is that you can actually call 24-7. Everything else is like pretty like gimmicky to me. I didn't really like it. Now, I did say I didn't really like the customer service with guys, but she did a pretty good job. She answered all the, all the questions that I had. The thing is that it wasn't her. It's just that I didn't like everything else she was saying because everything else she was saying was making no sense for me. Because how can you create this entire thing, Chase, and tell me that, well, you can't use every ATM. Well, you have a limit. Well, oh, well, 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 all this stuff doesn't make any sense like the only thing that this app actually has is that it tells you unless you put in emojis like for your expenses i don't get it i don't understand it doesn't make any sense how is it that we're in the first century well what, what century are we in okay how is it that we're in the 21st century and you're telling me that you're only gonna give me 0.01 percent on my money and for me to be able to get 0.04 percent i have to have over ten thousand dollars in the account it doesn't make an ounce of sense okay i don't like it i don't recommend it and here's why okay first things first okay customer service awesome i can call it 24 7 that's great that's the only good thing about it everything else in the app just feels like a big fat gimmick okay now here's why i can deposit money which is amazing no other app can do this right so that's great no other app no other online bank can actually do this vero can't do that you cannot deposit cash directly into the account you can't do any of that stuff so i like that about this but here's the deal. the same as account it sucks all right the entire like spending habits and stuff like that, it sucks. And I did say this, if you read my description down below, because I always write descriptive descriptions, I did say this, I do see a problem with a company that thrives from you spending money trying to teach you how not to spend money. And I said this in the, I, I said this in the description down below, I said this specifically, right? I said that if this app is a budgeting app, the only way it's going to work is by just limiting you to like, you know, just like general information, but it won't really tell you how to get yourself out of debt or anything like that. And that was hundred percent correct. Okay. It just helps you track your spendings. It helps you notice what you're spending your money on. It gives you some cash back. That's great. That's amazing. But it doesn't really teach you how to get out of debt. And the reason is because, Hey, if we teach you how to get out of debt, then you won't get the credit cards and then we won't make any money. On top of that, what type of check-ins accounts ask for a soft pull when you're registering for it, right? That doesn't make any sense either. The reason that they're doing this, guys, is because I feel, well, I don't feel anything. She said it on the phone. She said that they might be rolling out a Fin credit card, right? And guys, listen, man. Listen, listen, listen. I have a love hate relationship with Chase because I love the mortgage rates. I love everything everything else you guys do. You guys are amazing. But why do you guys do this? Okay. Here's my deal, right? I love the company and it's kind of like kind of messed up for me. Okay. Because I've been with you guys for like the past five, six years. Okay. And I don't understand why you do this. The entire strategy to this entire marketing thing you actually were doing should have been this. All right. It should have been, well, we're going to put out this entire thing. No, that's not what you're going to do at all. You can rebrand, you can do whatever you want, but what you should have done is you should have grabbed your entire chase app, right? And you should have applied all these features to that chase app, no fees whatsoever. And everything would have been great. No fees, a higher interest rate for the savings accounts, 24 seven hour support. That would have been great. You guys have the entire interface already inside of the phone and already inside of the apps. So I don't understand why you guys are creating a whole new app that sucks. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, all the reviews, 
All the reviews in the App Store are great reviews. I don't know what the heck those people are doing with their lives because it doesn't make any sense to me, all right? The app sucks. I don't like it. I don't want it. Get it away from me as fast as possible. Guys, like I always say, guys, it's very hard for an app to come to this channel and actually get a thumbs up from me. But SoFi and Vero were the only apps that really got thumbs up from me, and it's because they're doing it correctly, okay? There are no ATMs for you whatsoever. Guys, 29,000 ATMs, that's how many you can use, but you're telling me that if I go um, out of state or if I go like out of the country, I can't use an ATM there because I'm going to be charged? Come on, guys. You guys have a ton of money, all right? And I don't like how you're subtly, subtly trying to take advantage of people by still keeping up those accounts with those fees, all right? Because basically, for example, like my grandma, like if she uses a Chase account, she's not going to care about the fees because it's automatic, all right? But you guys should have just integrated this entire new thing, created a new policy, and just started over, okay? That would have been amazing. I love Chase. I love Chase. I love Chase. But this is not right, and I do not like that. So, guys, here's my suggestion, all right? Chase is a great company that made a mistake by rolling out a new app rather than just focusing on the app they already have. If you grab the Chase app that I have installed on my phone, right? No new debit card, no new anything. You take off the fees, right? No maintenance fees. No, um, no, not, not enough money fee. None of that stuff, okay? I can call 24-7. Great. I get bonuses. Great. I get a good savings accounts rate. Great. You can help me invest. Great. You can help me manage money. Great. It'll all be awesome. And here's the thing, guys, right? Here's the thing I do want to tell you guys over at Chase, right? If you do this, right? More people will have more money inside of your account because they will like want to keep it there because they're earning a lot more money from that interest rate. Right now, you guys are offering 0.15% on a regular savings account inside of your thing. And the entire Fin app is only earning 0.01%. Come on, guys. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know whose marketing tactic this was, but somebody needs to be fired. It doesn't. Well, well let me not say that, okay? <sighs> I just don't like it. Guys, my name is Simon Bryson. If you don't know me, you know me now. Thanks for watching this video. If you have anything to say in the comments down below, please comment down below and let me know you made it to the end of the video. And here's a clap for that. And guys, I always respond to all the comments. But here's the thing, right? I'm always running out of ideas because I'm posting every single day. So if you have any ideas, just comment them down below. And Chase, please, please, please fix this. All right? It makes no sense. It just looks like a gimmick and it makes you guys look dumb. Because when you take a look at this new product, if this was in 2008, it would be like, oh my gosh, this is great. This is amazing. But we are in 2019. We have Vero. We have Chim. We have Aspiration. We have SoFi. We have Acorn. We have all these new apps and you guys are not taking advantage of it. It might seem that you guys have the biggest market, which is 25 million people that are actively using the app, but eventually... Those apps are going to start taking people from you guys and they will become the next new banks. Take advantage right now while you still can and just switch the entire thing up and just make it just make it competitive, man. Like don't even make it 2%, all right? Make it like 1.9%, all right? Just make just do something. Do something. I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below and peace. You've got to start at the bottom. If you ever gonna reach the top, you gotta watch all the seeds you sowed on.